Alright, in the last tutorial I showed you how to create a, a drawing file, how to create your own title uh, border and title block, and also how to place in some views. The next thing you're going to want to be able to do is to dimension. So to dimension you would go to the annotate tab and go to dimension. And then I can click on dimension and put in my dimensions as I see fit. So notice though that for this drawing, I would prefer my uh, drawing uh, dimensions to be fractional format rather than decimal. And also I would like them to be on the dimension layer. I can do that after the fact by clicking on the object. Sorry, escape. I'm going to have to hit escape and then I can click on it without it uh, opening up the dialog box. And then I could go and change over in here the, uh, the layer and the uh, unit format. So first, what I would want to do is to go to my edit layers. And I like to change the dimension layer to be red. So then I can, so we've got all our dimension or all of our layers here. I'm going to say OK to making the dimension layer red. If uh, I want to, I could change the uh, hidden line layer to be blue and my center line layer to be green just as we do in AutoCAD. But the main one uh, that I'm concerned about right now is just the dimension uh, layer. So I've changed that to be red. I'm going to say uh, save edits, say yes. And now when I go to dimension, oops, sorry, I've already dimensioned that one. I'm going to click on the dimension and go over to here and change it to be on the dimension layer and also change it to be uh, fractional. And now instead of it saying 12, it says uh, just 12. And if it was 12.5, it would say 12 and a half. I can uh, do that after I've done several uh, dimensions and just click on all of them and then make that change. Or as I'm dimensioning, I can click on the dimension uh, uh, tool and also and then go over and change my layer and change my uh, default style to fractional. And then I can go ahead and dimension and it will now be uh, on the correct layer and also uh, it'll be fractional until uh, I have gone out of the uh, dimension, so uh, out of the dimension uh, command. Once I go out of the dimension command, however, then I'll need to reset the, uh, the layers. So there you can see that it's fractional rather than being decimal format. Once I go out, notice that these return back to their uh, original by standard, and I would need to go and change that. So to set this up so that it is uh, not going to have to be changed constantly, what we can do is create a new style. So I'm going to go to the Manage uh, ribbon, go to the Styles Editor, and the Style and Standard Editor opens up. So now I'm going to go to the default standard, and now I'm going to go to, uh, it'll open up on the general tab. And here I could change uh, numerous things. I could change the projection type, but we usually want third angle of projection. So that's what I'm going to leave there. Uh, available styles, etc. And now I'm going to go to object defaults. And I need to create a new one here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign here and, or sorry, on the pencil. And now I'm, I'm into object defaults. So I'm going to go to the baseline. And here I'm going to change uh, what the, uh, what the uh, baseline uh, default is. I'm going to change it to fraction. And then uh, now what I should do is just change it so that uh, this is a new default. So uh, I'm going to go uh, back to ANSI on that one, default ANSI. And I'm going to say new. And this time I'm going to call it, uh, or right now I'm going to call it object default ANSI fractional. So that I know that it's different. And it says add to standard. I'm going to say OK. And notice that it's down in here now. And it should be the active one. So now I'm going to go into all of the dimension 
areas and change these to uh, fractional. And I'm going to go through and change uh, also uh, any of the ones that are dimension. So I'm going to go down to these ones, linear. I want to change that to fractional. And the ones below. So that gives me a linear, ordinate, and ordinate dimension set. Uh, I'll also need to go down to uh, radial dimension and change that to fractional. And I think that's most of them. I should go back up and just double check. I think I need diameter. Uh, diameter dimension, I'm going to change that to fractional. And uh, double check that I got baseline. Baseline is set for fractional and so on. So I don't think I want to change the angular dimension. I'd like that just to remain as decimal. And so that's uh, that's everything I need to, to save. So I'm going to save that. And now, uh, since this is the active, I can uh, I can go back and uh, now when I do my dimensions, I shouldn't have to keep changing it. So I'm going to close this window now. And let's put in another dimension and just make sure that it works. So if I click over here, and I'm going to click top to bottom, and there it is. Okay, and so now, without having to go and change uh, this every time, I can have my document set up so that it'll give me the format that I want. And that's something to, worthwhile to know. Uh, if I wanted to change my text style, I could do that as well. Uh, um, if I want to go to dimension and change, uh, or if I go down to text and change the style of my uh, standard text, I could change the height of it and so on. My label text, and I can make all sorts of changes here uh, without uh, without having to make them every time when I uh, go to do. So I could change my standard text here to uh, 0.125, right? And my note text, change that also to 0.125. And my label text, uh, that one I might want to be 0.25. And then uh, any other changes that I'd want to make along in here, my parts list, I could change things about how things are set up here as well. Uh, layers, I'm just going to double check on here. Dimension, I've already set my color to red, so if I wanted to, uh, to go and make any other changes, I could do so here as well. And now I think we've got this drawing all set up. Uh, don't forget to our uh, dimensioning standards. If a dimension uh, relates to two views, then it should be placed between the two views, and uh, and we only uh, dimension a feature once, so I wouldn't place a dimension here, and then also here, I would want to keep this one. So I'm going to click on this one and delete it. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, finish off dimensioning this drawing and how to get a new drawing started. So that's the end of this tutorial.